Hi, this is Sherry Veronica and I have Josephine. She is a very, very ambitious businesswoman who has relocated to Barbados from London, England. And she has been through an ordeal. And I just wanted to talk to her woman to woman. No, no, nothing heavy. Just woman to woman, just to see. You're reaching out to her as a sister, just to see how she is doing. Hi, Josephine. You are on tape. I have my tape going. Do you give me permission to tape you? Yes, I do, but I just know not this time I have that great and to say the right things for you, no publicity. What do I say? <laughs> just talk. You, we know that you had two um, catastrophes recently, which were buildings that you spent your hard-earned money to erect. And how... We're not going to talk about the logistics of that per se, but let's talk about you as a businesswoman moving back to Barbados. Do you have regrets? Of course I do. Of course I do. Of course I do. So, so would it be your intention? I should have stayed in London with my children. I should have. Yeah. So, so in in the in the near future, do you see yourself reconciling what you can there and moving back to England? I would like to do that if I could get the property to sell, help my properties. I would do that. Go back. So can't you leave it? Can't you leave the properties? I don't think I'm in the right frame of mind to talk properly. Yeah, you want to be. Oh, I'm no, going you... to sound like the right person. I have the weakest moment in my life here. So. No, you, you're doing fine, Josephine. You're stronger than you think. Don't, don't, don't diminish yourself now. You're stronger than you think. And I've seen it throughout when I followed you. Now, in, you can put your property, you can have like uh, maybe a manager there or put it with a realtor to sell or whatever. But for your, do you feel as though this has affected your health? Are you worried about your health? Yes, I am. Yeah, at this moment, I am. I, am. I was real sick yesterday all weekend. And my friend, a good friend came and she is going to be looking after the properties too for me. I, I tell you, I don't even know I can handle any of these things anymore. I'm just tired. I understand. Too much, I do understand. You know? I had to run, as I told you, I had to run from Barbados too. They ran, they took my money, and then I got a swift kick in the ass. I, I understand how they operate. And, you know, you're going to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars in Barbados, and they never see you as a Barbadian once you've Helping left. Helping people are doing good. That's all I did. Helping people of course. are doing good. I've never done anything bad. Of course. Of course, you know, because when I look back... I've been in London for 29 years, and I have never had a record of anything negative. Of course. And I've got three beautiful children and six wonderful grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Once you to know my children, you will see how great I am. Yeah. They're good. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, like like, like you said, it. you've lived abroad and not a blemish, and I've I've lived I lived abroad and not had a blemish on my character, and you go back to Barbados, infuse hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then all of a sudden you're the worst person in the world. You have a reputation that you you don't know how it happened. You you, you look back and you're licking your wounds and you're wondering how did that happen? My philosophy is never go back south, never go back, never go backwards because when you think that you have moved forward in life and you were living in in the UK. And it's a forward moving moving uh, society. When I you like go, the sand. That's why it happened. I like the sand. But when you go back to Barbados, you go back to what you left. You you will realize that not only did you go back to what you left, it got worse. It actually got worse. You 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 know because there was a time that you could trust people in Barbados. Now it is such a a corrupt place to be. So you know, I wish you. I wish you. Well, and I wish I wish that it happens swift, swiftly that you can move back to the UK with your family, with your children, because 
I personally do not believe that as a returning person going back to Barbados, that is good for your health. I, I, I personally do not believe that they accept you back. They will take your money. Yes, that's a, that's a given. They will take your money, but I do not think you're ever embraced as a Bajan when you go back after spending a long time away from home. Veronica, yes. You finished with the tape? No, you want me to. You want me to get off? Well, no. I just, I just wondered if, if because I must, must still tell you that my family is, is quite nice in the one way I told you that they are, but they, we, really they're not. They haven't got the spirit I have. Mm -hmm. so not many people do. Said, yeah, not many people are strong. Are loving in some form, so mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt a lot of them who mm -hmm. would have been still checking on me mm -hmm. and what's good for me. You know, I'm yeah. still a minister of God, and I want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So, so what are you feeling? Are you are you are you? Uh, is the you. spirit is the spirit imploring you or directing you to go back to UK? Yes, I think um, the truth is I'll be better off going back. And once I could get some money, maybe to buy a little cottage for myself in the UK and just have a quiet life again, you know. Mm -hmm. I could even go and stay with my daughter because, you know, my children. Right. But, you know, I'm independent. I don't really want to be staying with children. They love me, but I, I, mean, I do have a good time when I'm around them. They're lovely children. Mm -hmm. But I always like to be independent. Yes, I understand. I understand. But like I said, so. I wish I wish you the best because, like I said, after being away from Barbados for decades, it's not. I don't think you're actually welcome back. They will take your money and suck you dry and send you back home to wherever you came from, or you'll die there. You just die there. But um, they don't really accept you back. Barbados has changed. It's not the same. It has changed, and there are a lot of fraudsters. There are a lot of um, thieves. There are a lot of. It's a criminal. There's a big. There's a huge criminal element that overshadows Barbados. Even when they talk police officers and them you go to one one buyer one time told me he will come in and he never turn up mm -hmm. you know you, you can call the the chief and they they all scan together mm -hmm. to destroy you mm -hmm. next thing you know you're getting arrest oh I yes don't know what it is about yes you're for help people hurting you and they still instead of they helping you yes you become Criminal. Yes. So yes. Hard. Yeah. In, in Barbados, they will rob you and then run. It's amazing that they could just go and push down property. You know. Yeah, I I, I understand you very well. Push down property, but when to rescue a human being when other people are hurting them, they can't turn up. It's nope. so amazing. Like it's I like like very very yeah. Very like I'm trying to say, they will, they will rob you, they will rape you, and then run to the police and accuse you of the crime. And that buyer, I call him him all the time, Richard Bayer. Come, you will not. And all my friends were calling him, you will not answer. One of my friends say, you demon, call him a demon. But he has your money. But he, once they have, they have your have money, money that's it. Me. He was to take go to court with me mm -hmm. to represent me for that land which I've been cleaning and dealing with it for over twenty years. So he has your money. Who, whoever, the, whoever that, who, whoever that attorney is, has your money, and he has no more use for you. He has your money, and he has no more use for you. That's how it works in Barbados. That's how it works. Yeah, he would not turn up. He would not turn up. He would not answer the call. But he did answer the call to come for the documents two weeks ago. It was so terrible. Mm. I can't even believe it. I'm lying here. I can't even believe the whole thing. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. You should. You should much. probably. You should probably write a I book when you to stop all my business. When you get back to England, you should write a book. Do. <laughs> Do like me, right? Just write a book and curse them in the book. In my last two books, I, I just curse. I just curse them. 
I just put the curse on them. I just put the curse. Just I just put a little tiny curse on them. So you know, you you have to do what you have to do to relieve yourself of the stress and anyway, to. Anyway, next you you know I'm a boss. Yeah, I know. So I know. You said that. <laughs> I know. Uh, you. I know. They would kill me. They would do whatever. And what I praying? Why I'm not um, praying? But I that's my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I bless you, though. For yeah. Your yeah. Positive me. Yeah, but of showing up people who is doing very bad things. Somebody must represent people who are doing very bad things. Because mm -hmm. a lot of us don't want to speak out. We just want to. To pretend it's not happening. Exactly. It's happening. Exactly. Exactly. Thank God to you, though. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I, I'm not going to keep you long because I do know that what happened was stressful. It has to be bothering you. Like every every aspect of your cells and your body must be like in shock. Still in shock. Yes, I'm still in shock. I, 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 can't, I haven't got out from bed, my friend. As I told you, they came yesterday and, and get me to, to have a little drink and eat because I didn't get out for the whole day from since the day before I haven't gotten out. Mm -hmm. Joseph, I, I am normally we go and preach mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. or go to a church and visit somebody. I'm a motivational speaker too and I... You know, and I would have gone out today and to one one church or two church, the churches that I'm affiliated with, and they're very kind and beautiful people, my church friends, they're nice. But it's these people that are not of God and that are wicked, are really wicked, mm -hmm. I know that. So I still want to say how wonderful my church people are. They are very kind to me. Wow. Wow, but, um, but take care of yourself. People, it's not good. Yeah, you, you what what you have to do now is to take very good care of yourself. You know, you've reached a certain age, and you have to watch the stress levels. You have to watch who you associate with. You have to watch. You know, you have to watch everything now if you want to. You know, just live a a healthy life as you you know go through at this last stage because you know after some you said you were seventy two or seven. Uh, over 70 you you just need to just just be just concentrate on you just concentrate on you like i advise everyone do not do not go back do not go back because you're gonna find that you're surprised that you will be surprised because what you thought was existing when you left and and improved it did not you may go back on vacation and think it's all swell but you're there for just a week now, when you go to live, it's a whole different story. Do not go back. If Whenever you can, whenever you can, Josephine, pack your bikes up and go back to the UK. Whenever you can. Yes, I think I might go to another Caribbean island. You never know because mm -hmm. I can't do that. My mother originally from Grenada and my father was a Vincentian and... Uh, I have those privileges. So I am an international woman and I am an intellectual person, mm -hmm. so I would think clearly what but, I would But, really but if, you, if, you, if you go I to St. Vincent... So I find I would want to go back to London to them, but it's just I don't like the cold. That's my problem. Well, if you, if you go back, if you go to St. Vincent, you're going even further. That, that's like 40 years behind. Barbados so just be careful what you do just be just like I said you 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 are like you have said you are a woman of God and put it in your God's hands and, and make sure that you listen you listen clearly and get rid of the ego get rid of all the emotions just quiet yourself and take instructions from your God but you know going back to St. Vincent like I said you're actually going for the back in time when you do that that's <laughs> it's true i just well, that's just a thought though oh but um, the truth is I, my children is london and they love me so and not just my children but many friends are very happy with me church friends uh, normal friends that just is general okay mm -hmm. Lots of people in London loves me. Okay. So there's no changes, you know. They're right. sincere people. Yes. They're not like being don't do pretend one day and the next day they are different, you right, know. Right, right, right. 
So, God is good. I, I have a lot of good to, to, to think of, you know. As I said, my church friends here are very nice to me, all of them. Wherever I go to church, they welcome me and they're glad to to see me. So I'm glad to see them too. So okay, that part of life is, is positive, you know. Okay, well, thank you very much, Josephine. I've reached a 15-minute mark. Um, this my uploading takes forever when I go over 10 minutes, so this is going to take forever. But, yeah, thank you so very much. Just hold on. I still want to talk to you, but I'm going to get off of the recorder, okay? This is Sherry Veronica, and wow. I was on with Josephine, and I will, um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this particular segment.